Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I discuss about commutator relation problem in quantum mechanics. This problem is very important for MSc entrance test. So please see this video very carefully. If you not subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and like my videos. At first, we discuss how we represent one commutators. Suppose A and B are the two commutators and we write it using square bracket and AB is equal to a b a cap b cap minus b cap a cap. In linear algebra, if a b is equal to 0, then they are commute to each other. So then we can write a b minus b a is equal to 0, so a cap b cap equal to b cap a cap. For anti-commutator, second bracket a cap b cap is equal to 0. Then a cap b cap is equal to we can write a cap b cap plus b cap a cap. Then a cap b cap is equal to minus b cap a cap. Is, it is anti commutator. For example, poly matrices like sigma x, sigma y, sigma x, sigma y, sigma z like that. And Suppose for sigma x, sigma y, we can write sigma x, sigma y plus sigma y, sigma x. Then for anti-commutator, we can write sigma x, sigma y is equal to 0. So sigma x, sigma y is equal to minus sigma y, sigma x. This is the example of anti-commutator relation. Now we discuss some commutator problem. In previous lecture, I discuss about operators like linear operator, momentum operator, angular momentum operator, like that. Suppose we operate x px. S is the linear operator, px is the angle momentum operator. So we, if you operate this using this relation. We can write it x p x minus p x x and we get the result i h cut. And for p x x, x p x equal to i h cut, opposite term p x x equal to minus i h cut. Okay. Now, suppose for x p y, it will be 0. Like that, x p z, it will be 0. Similarly, y p x it will be 0. y p y equal to i h cut. This rule is called Levis beta rule. That we remember. x p x equal to i h cut but opposite term x p y equal to 0, x p z equal to 0. y p x equal to 0, y p y equal to i h cut, y p z equal to 0 like that. That is called Levis beta. And we also know p equal to minus i h cut del del x. Another relation if x is the linear operator, j l x is the angular momentum operator. Then x l x, same term, x l x equal to 0. x l y equal to i h cut z. First term x, second term y, then we get third term z. x l x equal to i h cut z. Similarly, p x l x equal to 0, p x l y equal to i h cut p z. l x l y equal to i h cut l z that I discuss in my class. So please practice this commutator relation. Now we discuss another important operator is called ladder operator. In linear algebra, a rising and lowering operator is an operator that increase and decrease the eigenvalue of another operator known as ladder operator. Ladder operator are defined as L plus and L minus. L plus equal to Lx plus Ily and L minus equal to Lx minus Ily. And commutator relation, you remember, Lz L plus equal to H cut L plus and Lz L minus equal to minus H cut L minus and L plus L minus equal to 2 H cut Lz, which is very important for MSc entrance test. Now we discuss some important problem of commutator relation. Find the value of 
P H. P is the momentum operator, H is the Hermitian operator. And given H equal to P square by 2M plus half K X square. Okay. Now we find out the value of P H cut. So P is equal to P and H cap is equal to H P square by 2M plus half K X square that given. So if we commit to each other, then P at first we separate them. P P square by 2M and P half K X square. Now we 1 by 2M P P square that value is 0 that we calculate previous problem and if we come on k by 2 then p x square here we use one rule if a is an operator b and c another operator like that then we use b is a function of a c plus a b c that rule here I used so here p x square we separated x x x square so at first x common p x plus k by 2 p x x so p x equal to minus i h cut that we proved in my previous problem the x p equal to i h cut or p x equal to minus i h cut similarly minus i h cut so k by 2 minus i h cut x into 2 so 2 to cancel to each other so answer is minus i h cut k x that is the answer now we discuss another problem this is very important problem for msc entrance test given find the commutator of x square p square here p is p means p x square that you apply because here x is only given another term is 0 ok now we separate x square by xx comma p square so using we use that rule a comma bc a comma bc which is first b common ac plus a b c Okay, that rule I use. So x x comma p square plus x is x p square x. Now we use this p square. P square means p comma p. So we use at first p first p x x p x x p p. Now we use this term p x p x xp xp okay that term you remember because it is very important for quantum mechanics problem classical mechanics it is not important but quantum mechanically p cap x cap and s cap p cap that will be different okay so if we calculate px xp equal to i h ih cut that we calculate previously and x cap i h cut p and this is that one and this is this so p x p cap x cap here also p cap x cap that we common and here x cap p cap x cap p cap that we common so we get 2 i h cut p cap x cap plus x cap p cap this is very important problem for MSC entrance test Please practice this type problem from your textbook or any other book and it will be helpful for your MSC entrance test. Okay, thank you.